Welcome to the English New Bung Phuc Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm Hưng Gex and now following the headline for today. Bung Phuc hold the second Vietnam La Friendship Association Congress. Free French loans available for social housing. Prime Minister sets major target for first quarter trips. Vietnamese restaurant ranks among Asia's the 50 best. Ladies and gentlemen, the Binh Phuc Province of Vietnam Lao Friendship Association recently organized its second congress in 2022 and 2027 term in Dong Soi City. The Vietnam Laos Friendship Association in Binh Phuc Province currently has 68 members, including 59 group members and 9 individual members. In the last term, the association improved the quality of its activities, effectively implemented people-to-people -people exchanges, and cultivated the special friendship, solidarity, and cooperation between Bình Phuc Province and the Lao People's Democratic Republic. It also actively called for support and cooperation, contributing to improving mutual understanding between the peoples of Bình Phuc and Laos. The association regularly arranges medical examinations and presents gifts to the needy in southern Lao provinces and joins the province's delegation to visit Laos on major holidays. On the occasion of the 55th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries, the 40th anniversary of the signing of the Vietnam Laos Treaty of Amity and Cooperation and the Vietnam Laos Solidarity and Friendship Year, the association encouraged members to participate in the competition to learn about the meaning of the special historical relationship between Vietnam and Laos. Participants at the Congress elected an executive committee for the 2022-2025 to period, which includes 18 members and the three-member inspection committee. The state banks of Vietnam is long a uh, 120 trillion Vietnam dollars credit package for social housing and worker housing. Hundreds of thousands of people hoping to buy social housing in Binh Phu province will have access to the package. Interest rates are expected from 8.7% per annum applied for three years for investors. For home buyers, the interest rate is 8.2% per annum applicable for five years. The program will end when sales reach 120 trillion dong or until December 31, 2030. Figures show that in the 2022 to 2030 period, over 156,000 people have demand for social housing in Binh Phu Province. The province is currently implementing a social housing development project for the 2021 to 2025 period with orientation to 2030. It is expected that from now to 2030, the province will implement 18 social housing projects for workers on an area of about 173 hectares. These projects are concentrated in localities with key industrial parks. Hopefully, with preferential interest rates for those seeking social housing loans, low-income earners in Binh Phu province will have the chance to assess the loan package and settle down in a house they own. With on-site human resources changed and fortress by the local medical center, local districts had gradually ensured the number of doctors in all departments meet requirement. The strengthening of local human resources has contributed to improving the quality of medical examinations and treatment towards building qualified staffing to meet the health care demand of people in Lok Ning. The Lok Ning District Health Center has sent six doctors to be trained to become specialist doctors. It will continue to send two doctors to follow the training program of the Ministry of Health. The health center will also set more doctors to study for general doctor degrees, ensuring the number of doctors in the near future. This is expected to contribute to more effective medical examinations and treatment in the area, as well as for Cambodian people in the area bordering the district.
Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin chaired the government's online meeting with 63 localities in Nashville and the cabinet regular meeting on April the 3rd. In the first quarter of this year, the country's GDP growth was estimated at 3.32 percent. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, rose 4.18 percent, but the increasing pace is slowing down. At the same time, state budget collection was equivalent to 30.3 percent of the yearly estimate, while trade surplus reached 4.07 billion U.S. dollars, doubling that of the same time last year. Good signal was seen in the tourism sector. Addressing the event, Prime Minister Ching said major targets for the first quarter were basically reached. Political security, macroeconomic stability and major economic balances were maintained, while security, defense and social order was ensured and external relations and international integration were strengthened. However, the government's leader pointed to some shortcomings, which have been revealed during the implementation of tasks in the period. He again reiterated the goals of controlling inflation, maintaining macroeconomic stability, promoting growth, and ensuring major balances of the economy, and assigned specific tasks to ministries and agencies. He asked leaders of ministries, sectors, and localities to further promote their leadership role and strive to complete all targets and tasks given by the party and state. Vietnam economy will grow by 6.6% this year and at a similar rate in 2024, according to a report released by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. The report states that Vietnam's economic growth is driven by foreign investment in the manufacturing sector, especially electronics, machine manufacturing, textiles and footwear, and benefits from China's loosening of COVID-19 prevention and control measures. At this rate, the OECD believes that, Vietnam continues to lead the top five largest economies in Southeast Asia. The report says that, the end of support programs after the COVID-19 pandemic will create favorable conditions for Vietnam to improve its public financial situation. However, weaker demand is likely to reduce investment in the Vietnamese economy. The report also recommends the country continue to closely monitor inflation trends. As tourism was among the sectors most affected by both the COVID-19 pandemic, the report highlights the economic impact of tourism in the region and explores how the sector can be reshaped to regain its significant role in emerging Asia. A resident in Ho Chi Minh City was the only representative from Vietnam honored among Asia the 50 best restaurants in an award ceremony in Singapore. Anan Saigon, which turns street food flavors into contemporary creations, ranked 40 on the list. The eatery specialized in local dishes such as bánh xèo, Vietnamese pancake, chả cá, fish with dill and turmeric, and various noodle dishes. It was also featured in Asia's 50 Best Restaurants in 2021 and 2022, and was named Asia's Best Restaurant at the World Culinary Awards 2022. This year's winner is Ladu in Bangkok, Thailand. The top 50 also includes restaurants from China, Japan, Singapore and Thailand. Most are upscale with street food eateries being quite rare. The awards are determined based on experience of more than 300 critics, chefs, restaurateurs and culinary experts from around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, home to a kaleidoscope of Cham's artifact, the central province of Thừa Thiên Huế has worked to promote the value of Cham culture with a view to diversifying local tourism offering. The confluence of both Vietnamese and Cham ethnic cities has made Thừa Thiên Huế a great destination to discover the beauty of different cultures and customs. Thừa Thiên Huế has prepared scientific dossiers for 44 sites and 251 artifacts with close relations to the Cham culture. Most Cham relic sites, dating back thousands of years, have become severely degraded and gone to wreck and ruin over time. It is therefore necessary for the province to mobilize resources and preserve the Cham heritage. 
Analysts have said that promoting Cham culture plays an important role in raising public awareness about state of local cultural stress for diversifying tourism offerings. And that was the 10 minutes of BPTV News. To get this news again, you can download our mobile app BPTV Go or visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for staying with us and see you next time. Thank you.